Someone at some point may have asked me how I put my quilts together. And again, this is a queen size quilt, so this is going to be a bugger. But what I did was, and I don't have floor space to lay this out flat, so I put it on my queen bed. But what I did this time, which really helped, is I have this four foot table that I put up when I'm quilting to give, you know, support to the quilt and all of that. Well, I took this into the bedroom and actually put it underneath the part of the quilt that folded over the side. So I propped it up with the table so I could make sure everything was nice and tight, well, as tight as I could get it anyway, um, and smooth before pinning it all together. So it is sewn together now. I just finished it. But in laying it out, you do the batting, then you do the backing, which again is my flannel right side up. You have the, the backing and the quilt top right sides together. So it's a matter of trying to get everything smooth and tight. So when you start quilting this thing, you don't have a lot of puckers, which I do get some. Um, it's just impossible for me to get it absolutely tight. But it is sewn together, and I have left this opening. You know, first, obviously, I need to trim around this whole top, and I'll trim it right to the edge of this border, snipping off my corners and whatnot like you would. And then I'll be turning this right side out. Um, I'll need to put it back in the bed, smooth it all out, and then I will be doing a quarter-inch seam on the outside, around the outside of this border, and then I will be doing the inside of this border, and then I have to start my diamonds. So, this is it. <laughs> this is Big Quilt. That's my six-foot table that I use. Um, I need to trim around the edges next, and I'll be turning it right side out, and uh, starting the top part. <laughs> 